Management of Suspected Acute Coronary Syndrome Initial Assessment and Recognition The management of suspected acute coronary syndrome begins with a thorough initial assessment. Healthcare providers should evaluate the patient's presentation by identifying common symptoms such as chest pain or pressure, shortness of breath, and excessive sweating. A detailed patient history is essential to gather information about previous cardiac events or risk factors. Vital signs must be assessed quickly. This includes measuring the pulse, respiration rate, blood pressure, temperature, and oxygen saturation. Oxygen saturation should be maintained at or above 94%. If needed, administer supplemental oxygen using a low-flow nasal cannula. Monitoring for signs of hemodynamic instability is critical during this phase. Immediate interventions. Once the initial assessment is complete, immediate interventions are necessary to stabilize the patient. Administer 324 mg of chewable aspirin unless there are contraindications such as allergies or active gastrointestinal bleeding. Aspirin works by inhibiting platelet aggregation, which reduces the formation of blood clots. If the patient's systolic blood pressure remains above 90 mm of mercury, provide 0.4 mg of nitroglycerin sublingually. This dose can be repeated every five minutes as needed. Nitroglycerin helps dilate coronary arteries and alleviate chest pain. Before administering nitroglycerin, confirm that the patient has not recently used a phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor. A 12-lead electrocardiogram should be obtained promptly to identify ST segment elevation myocardial infarction or other changes in the heart's electrical activity. This step is important for determining the appropriate treatment pathway. Intravenous access should also be established for medication administration and potential fluid resuscitation. Blood samples should be collected to test for cardiac biomarkers such as troponin, complete blood count, and basic metabolic panel. Continuous monitoring and further management. Continuous monitoring is required to assess the effectiveness of treatment and detect any changes in the patient's condition. Vital signs should be checked every five minutes. Persistent chest pain may require additional doses of nitroglycerin or other suitable analgesics. Based on the findings from the electrocardiogram and local protocols, evaluate the patient for fibrinolytic therapy or primary percutaneous coronary intervention. If indicated, expedite the transfer to a cardiac catheterization laboratory. Following initial stabilization, Transfer the patient to a cardiac care unit for ongoing monitoring and further management. Key considerations. Time is a critical factor in minimizing damage to the heart muscle. Rapid assessment and intervention are necessary to achieve the best possible outcomes. Adherence to advanced cardiovascular life support guidelines and prompt intervention are paramount for improving patient outcomes. Effective communication and coordination among advanced cardiovascular life support team members are essential. Patient education should also be provided regarding acute coronary syndrome, available treatment options, and lifestyle modifications. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.